Alright Tom, remember three months ago when I hit upon the video style of give bots, roll video intro, video body? Well, some people really liked that, and so did I, so I'm going to attempt to bring that back starting today. Sort of. But details of that in Bot 3. But before I actually get into the details of the bots, I need to give thank yous to the shoutouts from Peter of the Sizzle Experience and Sabrina and D Flips from Disturbed Done 1130. So thank you and thank you. So today on the schedule we have Bot 1 Recommendations, Bot 2 NaNoWriMo, and Bot 3 Standalone Videos. Bot 1. I recommend forcing yourself to listen to music that you don't like. This is because when I had to listen to Poker Face about 50 times in order to get the beat down, I found things that were catchy, and that is valuable to add to your own music style. I recommend picking an album and listening to it the entire way through, in its natural order. I really recommend the band Forever the Sickest Kids, just don't listen to the lyrics, please. It's really incredible synth rock, but all the lyrics are about cell phone drama and being 18. So like I said in the first recommendation, focus on the positive. And while I'm on the topic of boy bands, why don't you go listen to the main two? Equally impressive, but with good lyrics. Tom, I believe both you and I recommend the album The Hazards of Love by The Decemberists, although your recommendation for them has more weight since you actually saw them. Some YouTube videos I'd recommend checking out are Smosh singing their sex ed song. It's actually not Smosh, it's their friends, I set my friends on fire, but it's their video account. Uh, the first semester of Spanish Love Song, and also, if you ever wondered what my classes were like, a video of what happened in my lecture two weeks ago. You can check each of those out, links in the sidebar. For films, I recommend the director's cut, not the normal version of Kingdom of Heaven. Yes, it's intimidatingly long, but just give it a chance. I think a movie of equal caliber, but less long, is uh, Pan's Labyrinth. If the only thing you know about this movie is that it's in Spanish and it's directed by the same guy who did Hellboy, then don't be put off by that. Like 9 out of 10 doctors, I recommend Tylenol for your pain. If you're a coffee or tea drinker, then I recommend biscotti. And don't be cheap and get the stop and shop kind either. Get the Noni's chocolati or whatever. I recommend doing stuff in the rain. Just take a hot shower afterwards and uh, put newspaper in your shoes. And don't bring your phone with you. I recommend you carry around WD-40 almost everywhere you go. Tom, I recommend you learn how to play Star Wars The Collectible Card Game. Now, this was a game that Decipher killed off a long time ago. Now, if any time, is the best time to learn Star Wars cards and to play it online. What the fans have done to revive the game is they've started a site called holotable.com. It's free, it's easy, it only takes a few minutes to download the application to use the uh, virtual card table, and you get an infinite supply of every card made plus some that fans have made just for fun. So basically the focus now is on the gameplay, and they've taken the collecting out of the collectible card game. So do that now, and you can also get PDF versions of uh, the glossary and the rules online. Bot 2. Now Bot 2 was excluded from Bot 1 because this is stronger than just a recommendation, but for lack of a better word, I am recommending that you go and participate in National Novel Writing Month or NaNoWriMo as it is commonly referred to. Your goal is to write 50,000 words in the month of November, and your reward is the knowledge that you have done something very impressive. And guess what? You get this reward even if you don't finish. In my experience, it's been really rewarding to participate in this even if you don't end up writing a novel. Afterwards, you can look at all the work you've done and be like, whoa, that just came out of my hands. Now, you could participate in this on your own, but then you'd run the risk of dying and no one would find your body because you're all alone. What you should do is go online and register at nanorimo.org. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Do it now. Now. Do it. Now. If you haven't paused the video and done it right now, I'm very disappointed in you. What three? Tom, I believe the current structure of these videos is alienating the potential viewers we could have from the current ones we do have. It's only through the experience of our current watchers from their past video viewings that they know that we're talking to each other one-on-one -on -one and to the cheese wheels as a whole. Now, new viewers would find this really confusing and kind of off-putting. Even with my Poker Face video, I felt really constrained by that introduction I had to make. So from now on, when I have a video like that, that can stand alone by itself, I'm just going to go right into it, no introduction, you only see the title screen, and then the video is going to flow from there. I know the linearity of this proposed video setup is appealing to you in the Star Wars movies, so it should be appealing to other people in the YouTube videos. Of course I'm predicting that the song videos that we're going to make will fit into this linear category, so you're welcome to follow suit and do what I do. Seeing as it's October and I need to make a song for this month, you'll be seeing one of these videos quite soon. So until next time, I'll leave you with these words of wisdom. <laughs> I can't speak English.